Shalom and welcome. This is Two Minutes of Torah. Throughout the weeks, as we create these videos to communicate, I get all kinds of suggestions from you, the viewers of this Two Minutes Torah. And one of the things I get the most is that I'm not smiling enough. And I promise that I will try to remember this and try to show my wonderful smile as I move on in the recording of these pieces. But not this week. I don't think it's the right week to start smiling. Not just because of the time of the calendar in which we are the week just before the 9th of Av, the saddest day in the Jewish calendar, but also because the news in the newspapers these weeks don't give much to smile about. The events in Bulgaria last week, in our own country in Aurora last weekend, and as we move into Shabbat and closer to Shabbat, the beginning of the London Olympic Games, and once more the unbelievable stubbornness of the Olympic Committee who does not give the 11 Jewish athletes, Israeli athletes, killed 40 years ago by Palestinian terrorists in Munich, the honor they deserve by taking one minute, that's all we're asking, to remember them. So how do you deal with a week in which the news are not particularly great? I find comfort going back to our Parsha, the beginning of the book of Dvarim, the last book of the Torah. And as I read through the first speech of Moshe, he decides to start his farewell to the people by reminding the people the things they went through in the last 40 years. Is that idea that memory and knowing where we're coming from is so central to our identity that gives me strength and hope in the future. Because when we know where we're coming from, we can know where we're we going to. The fact that we always go back to our history, that we remember who we are, and that we find inspiration to get stronger and keep our faith and hope for a better future uh, unshakable is what brings me hope in a difficult week. I promise I will smile more, I will try to do so in the future, not this week. Please join us this Shabbat, as both on Friday and Shabbat morning, morning we remember those who should be remembered by the entire world, and for some, again, uncomprehensible reason, the world denies them the honor they deserve. Have a wonderful week, looking forward to seeing you on Shabbat.